Okay, well those who joined us earlier uh, will be looking forward to seeing how we do this complete job and uh, uh, we can take data to uh, generate a roof proposal uh, from various forms and one of the um, more common ways of doing it these days is using images from uh, PDFs uh, that we capture via our clipboard. Once you've placed the image from clipboard onto your screen you need to rescale it. Um, from the measurements we've read off the plan we know that the overall width of this building is 12.2 meters so I'm now going to rescale my image to be precisely 12.2 so I'll as carefully as I can I'll, I'll verify the width of the building by selecting the middle of those lines and now the, the software will automatically rescale the job so I'm now working um, at full size everything I do from here will be at full size as if I'd been standing next to the building and uh, course they've according they'd be they built it correctly um, so there we go we start digitizing our roof and uh, use some care um, the more careful you are digi digitizing the job the more precise the result will be and the more satisfied your customer will be with your results so take the time to get it right Now I'm working to plus and minus 25 mil or near enough to an inch. If I'm not satisfied with the location I get near the line, I can just redigitize it by stepping back. And uh, then we, as we work around, take the time to get it right. Now you will find with some of these drawings the uh, the resolution of the images that you capture aren't entirely s satisfactory so you'll you'll need to uh, to get the best quality resolution of, of the image and uh, the more care you take getting a good image the better the result will be so there's our job uh, we know that pitch to be 36 degrees we got that from last time I think it's 500 but we're not sure so uh, let's check we'll measure that again from there to there and what's that work out to be 495 well that's near enough to 500 so let's run with that the eve height of the uh, this part of the roof is 5100 and we hit ok and we hit continue when the roof is built now at this stage uh, it's possible to add a whole bunch of other features for example uh, make those ends Dutch gable, uh, sorry, gable ends uh, we might put a Dutch gable in there um, it, it's all a single mouse click to add these features in the event that it's not a Dutch gable just hit uh, undo and every feature that you add can be uh, un uh, you can undo in a simple click okay now that's the uh, top level now um, what I should have done there is made that the second story that would have been useful and you will see why shortly so we'll make that story number two we hit OK so that's now story number two let's now do the lower level uh, we did this already in the intro but uh, let's do it again in, uh, in detail so uh, we go back to uh, digitizing the roof um, I'm going to go right in there get it as accurately as I can on there and accurately as I can on there, there we go. Now, for reasons that will become apparent later, I'm going to come all the way out to here. It doesn't really matter where, just so long as it's longer. And uh, then close square. Uh, this will be the first story. The pitch is the same, but the overhang will be zero. Gable overhang will be zero, and the eve height will be 2750. So we hit OK, and then we say we want a gable end there and a gable end there. Well, that's uh, that's that part of the roof now we have to do we come over here and turn off the second story roof and walls um, we now have to do this veranda looking thing that's under there and the way we do that is a little bit tricky um, cunning is more like it so um, we go in here and start right on that corner and uh, as you were got the overhang <laughs> Uh, one of these days I'll do this right there's a training course coming up they tell me okay so use your cursor and line it up with the eve overhang 
there we go and into that corner into that corner into that corner and now we're going to eyeball this you get very good at eyeballing after a while we want that to come out so that's the valley hits us about there and then we close square and this will be the a lower level correct the overhang will be 500 gable overhang will be 500 e fights the same hit continue and continue and there's our roof it's pretty good so what i'm going to do now is uh, put the gable in there and then use a function called project gable project that gable onto that roof plane to zoom in and see how do we go in that valley just about and ridge just about spot on so uh, what we do now is um, a couple of cutouts so we turn on the uh, turn on the second story roof again so turn on the sorry as you were the second story walls not the roof and uh, use our cutout function so we'll cut out automatically track the cutout and using the features you can see so cut out around whoops what do i do then cut out uh, auto track is what we want auto track around the walls really cut them out yes so let's cut all that out in one fell swoop perfect now i just need to clean this part up this time we'll digitize that digitize using the visible planes okay and i'm going to go right in here and start my cut out just along that edge it's orthogonal so i can just go up there and out there close square and cut all that perfect uh, and uh, turn on the rest of the roof and there we have it bit of prep there so we can get rid of that let's go back to that we'll just uh, use our delete function draw a box around the end get rid of that that's gone turn off the walls we don't really need those anymore and um, there we have it we know everything we need to know about that job and zoom fit and uh, check out the area of the upper level check out the area of the lower level and we know everything about all the hips and ridges and gable lines everything we need to know you can identify and check so that's where we're at with that um, pretty straightforward very very simple and very very accurate uh, full 3d model we can now apply all our roofing materials get a complete cutting list and output to a user-defined template for our customer reports. Thanks so much for your time. Look forward to seeing you again on the YouTube channel.